I went to see my Labour MP this morning uh, post-surgery in Newcastle Central. That's Chi on Muro. Um, she had a French TV film crew there with her. Um, so hopefully my questions and discussions with her are of Brexit and the treatment of the 3 million European citizens living in the UK will appear on Monday sometime on ARTE. I quizzed her about what she intended to do and what the Labour Front Bunch intended to do over the next week or two and what was going to happen with the forthcoming vote on Theresa May's withdrawal agreement. Um, she was adamant that she was going to vote down that withdrawal agreement as she didn't see that as being uh, acceptable to anybody. But she wasn't forthcoming on what would happen next. I think she's perhaps struggling on what to do next since the Labour Party itself and the front bench don't really have a constructive approach to what should happen next. They're fighting for a general election. I don't think that's going to be possible and I certainly don't think any renegotiation with the European Union over a revised form of uh, withdrawal agreement is going to be at all uh, possible between now and March next year. So I stressed to her how uncomfortable I was feeling about the actual mandate for the referendum, or came, which came out of the referendum, based upon the criminal activity um, and the lies and misinformation um, that was put about by the Leave campaigns in particular, um, and the criminal activity that's under investigation um, surrounding Aaron Banks and the donations that he made, and the other dark money donations made through um, the DUP in Northern Ireland. None of which I'm happy about, and I'm adamant the fact that that doesn't um, give us a viable mandate. She waffled a bit around that, acknowledging the fact that they had come out against it, and her and Keir Starmer perhaps had said something about it when it happened, but they haven't made anything of it, in my view, over the past two years, and therefore whatever words they are really aren't being backed up by the Labour front branch at all. So I'm really unhappy, and um, whilst I... I appreciate the 15 or 20 minutes time that she gave me. Um, her answers weren't really going to support what I want. Um, I think we've still got a lot to do, and I think one of the best ways that you can help, uh, potentially, is to sign up and donate to EU Citizens Charter. Um, champion, rather. EU Citizens Champion. Um, this is a pressure group um, put together with, by Tanya Boltman, um, aiming to support and educate those three and a half million U European citizens who are resident in the UK and are presently in a state of limbo, not really knowing what the effects are going to be. I would encourage you, therefore, to, again, visit the website, spread the word, put pressure on your MP, turn up, if you can, to their surgeries, write to them at least, um, and demand at the minimum a final say, a people's vote, with an option to remain, uh, but preferably a withdrawal and revocation of Article 50.